If you've never been to the South and think you might want to experience some of its magic and charm, I might suggest Oxford, Mississippi as your first stop. It's a beautiful old southern town, with one of the oldest courthouses in America as the centerpiece of the town square. Now, Oxford has a good and friendly spirit about it, and it's a town that's fully alive with waves of students who come there year after year to be a part of the University of Mississippi. And Oxford, Mississippi is a town that has it all. Well, almost. There is one thing missing. And it goes back to the year 1860. At that time, the chancellor of the University of Mississippi was Dr. Frederick A. P. Barnard. Now, Dr. Barnard vowed to have the finest science program in the world during his administration at Ole Miss. Duly inspired, Chancellor Barnard believed a telescope to be an essential part of his program. And after much research, he found and then contacted the manufacturer of the world's finest telescopes in the country of France. And with only the finest in mind, Chancellor Barnard ordered the world's largest telescope to be crafted and then delivered to the University of Mississippi at Oxford. Now for two years, the anticipation grew and grew as the good people of Mississippi awaited the arrival of the world's largest telescope. A beautiful building was even constructed on campus to house the new treasure. And there was one unforeseen event, though, that occurred during the two-year waiting period of the telescope's arrival. It was the Civil War. But as war raged, the mighty scope was completed. Upon completion, it was shipped from France to America by way of ocean liner. The looking glass arrived safely into the customs house into the Chicago Harbor. The telescope was then put on a train southbound for Mississippi. But not far into the journey, the train was captured by the Union Army, and the world's largest telescope was confiscated then taken to Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, where it operates to this day in the Dearborn Observatory at Northwestern. Now, historically down through the years, various chancellors of the University of Mississippi have written to Northwestern University, politely requesting the return of the telescope. The administrators at Northwestern always answer and politely decline. Well, even though the telescope never made it to Oxford, so many other wonderful things did. And those things are surrounded by natural beauty and they're underscored by a fine quality of life. Oxford, Mississippi is truly one of the most charming towns in America and is filled with people who will make you feel welcome should you decide to go and visit, I guarantee you. I'm Marty Stewart and that's the long range view from the heart and soul of my Mississippi.